What's up? Brad Dane and John's here with an email reply and it's in the guise of a fantastic question followed by an annoying question. And if anyone knows me, they'll know what topic annoys me. Hey Bradley, I've been cutting down for almost two months now, losing two pounds a week and feeling good about it thanks to you. Good to hear, man. I'm glad I can help you out. Um, I have just two quick questions to ask. The first one is last week there was a day where I had a bad day and when it came to hitting calories and macros on point, I actually ate nothing throughout the day and was off by like 1200 calories. Don't do that again if you possibly can help it. I know that sounds insane, but I just didn't feel too good that day, which can happen. Um, now, if something like this were to happen again in the future, what would you recommend I do to avoid having a huge deficit at the end of the week? Um, what I would advise you to do is if it's a small uh, deficit over the day, I'd advise you to eat the calories the next day. For instance, if you're 200 calories off, next day add 200 calories. If you're, I would say do that to within about four to 500 calories. After that, don't eat those rest of the day. So if you're like, if your your diet has you on 1700 calories and then you go for a day and you only eat 1300, add the uh, the remainder 400 calories to the next day. It will t work out that it's about the same net effect. After a certain point, for instance, if you're on a 3,000 calorie diet and you go for a day and you eat 1,000 calories, the next day, don't eat 5,000 calories. That would, uh, the, the fat gain from that will be irreparable throughout the rest of the week. There's no way you can, um, you can, you can offset that. So within reason, you can carry those calories over or subtract those calories the next day um, to that to that small varying degree but if it's massive don't um, what you can also do is add uh, the spread the calories out throughout the week in a different way so for instance if you eat 200 calories too many one day and you've got four days in the week remaining add 50 calories a day throughout the rest of the week it should work out more or less the same and then carry on as usual as long as the weekly as long as the days aren't too wildly erratic and the, the weekly total is about right you should be about right so that's a good question and hopefully that answers your question in as best i can you didn't tell me what you're actually on cutting so i can't give you more specific advice other than uh, oh no, sorry, the day and was off by like 1200 calories. Sorry, you did say off by. Um, at 1200 calories, being off by 1200 calories, you can't really repair that in a day. I would say chalk it up to one of those days and move on with your life. That's my advice. Not gonna kill you. Everyone's had a bad day. Um, my second question is the whole refeed thing. I, uh, I don't know how it works. Like, do you have to have a refeed like once a month or once every two weeks or something? Because I've been dieting without refeeds, but I keep hearing people talk about them. And I'm just a little curious about the subject and how important it is while cutting. If you could just explain the reason for a refeed, that would be great. I love your videos, man. I've learned a lot from them and I hope to keep learning something new from every video you post. Keep up the good work. I've done four, three or four refeed videos. Here's one. Here's another. Here's another. And if there's another one, which I don't think there is, here it is too. I'm not gonna say anything on refeeds on this, but the one thing I will say is, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. Johnson at gmail.com. If you have any queries or theories or suggestions or anything, let me know. Other than that, like the video, like my Facebook, follow me on Twitter, Instagram, and of course, subscribe. Peace.